Listen to this. With the hard boiled egg, we used to put a, get a pot, pour the water in there, fill it up all the way. Yeah, but us. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And boil it. And by the way, what are the chances that both of us learned that? Well, up. I don't think it's like wrong. Okay. Yes, it so is. So you're basically <laughs> saying we used to boil the water first and pour it in. You might sound crazy, guys, but we learned the way to make the perfect egg today. <laughs> or hard boiled egg. What's up, fam? Today we have a very special mukbang in front of us because we haven't done this in quite a while, okay? We're going back to the old school days. <laughs> we have some white rice and eggs. That is our main thing. And then, of course, Jamil and I were like, oh, we should add some stuff. <laughs> so we got some sausage. We got some cucumbers. We have okra, some fried okra on the side. Oh and then we had to do the Bee Loves Life Smackalicious sauce. Yes. Uh, for those of you who don't know, it's like a butter seafood sauce, but you can put it on anything, any type of meat or veggies or anything. Mm -hmm. um, it's really good, and you can get it on Amazon. Yeah. It's called Smackalicious sauce. And we also have, uh, we were supposed to do, I was thinking about doing shrimp when we <laughs> forgot to get Originally, shrimp. Originally, yeah. So I got cocktail sauce, but you know what? I hear it's just ketchup, horseradish, and some other stuff. So I'm going to try it on the sausage. Yeah. And see how it tastes. I don't know. You might like it. Maybe. Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> okay, let's dig in, you guys. And then we're going right. to talk about some things that have been on our mind lately. Yeah. About Las Vegas. And yes. we want to chat with you about it. Yeah, exactly. Get your thoughts. Exactly. But first, we're going to dive in. Okay, let's do it. Ah, I'm so excited. So Kristen had to get, uh, is it kielbasa sausage? I got beef kielbasa sausage. That's this one I'm eating right now. Yep, the small pieces. And then the big sausage, the full sausages here mm -hmm. are um, mm. cheddar and jalapeno. Oh, yeah. We actually got it from, um, ordered from Lucille's Barbecue, which is a really good barbecue spot from here. I love their sausage, though. Their sausage at that place is amazing. Mm. How you feeling? Good? <laughs> Good. I love how you gave yourself a personal uh, bowl <laughs> of the sauce. But forgot me. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I asked him if he wanted it. Did you? Yes. When we were, babe, making me look bad. When we were talking about doing it, I was like, let's do two small bowls. You're like, no, I don't think we should. And then... Mm. Well, I'm doing the big bowl mm. for you, and I'll do a small one. Got it. Okay. I didn't know. I thought, you know, what I was thinking when he said two small bowls, <laughs> and I was like, nah, maybe just one. Uh-huh. I was thinking it was just going to be one bowl. Mm. I didn't know you were going to get an extra bowl. Oh. Um, That's what happened. Oh, I wasn't going to get an extra bowl. Like, oh, so you did. I, like, I didn't switch it up. That's all good. Okay. But I thought you wanted it in the big bowl. Right? This is perfect for me anyway, so it's all good. <laughs> I like coming to your side to eat, so... <laughs> mm. Is it good? Mm. Mm. Man, I love rice, eggs, mm -hmm. mm. cucumber. Also got some Louisiana sauce right there. Mm. I'm about to pour this all over my rice. Mm. That's going in for sure. You mind if I... Spike this a little bit. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> a little over there. Okay, cool. There we go. Yes. I'm my individual. Anyways, but oh. I might try it with the spiked one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Try and it. see if it's good. Let's see if you like it. Uh, in a little bit. I know. Oh. You guys, Louisiana hot sauce is really good. Mm -hmm. If you like crystal, mm -hmm. you'll like Louisiana too. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how is the sausage? Um, I didn't try that one yet. Oh, okay. You haven't tried the one? Uh-uh. Try the other one? Yeah, that one's good. Mm -hmm. But I have a feeling that one's going to be better. The feelings mm -hmm. are correct. Mm. I heard the snap. When you snapped into mm -hmm. it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got to do it with, um... Okay, I'm going to try it with some cocktail sauce, guys. Let's see how this is. Look at these, you guys. This might be kind of weird. These are huge. I know, they're massive. They are. Okay, here we go. Cocktail sauce. Mm. There's no way it's good. It doesn't work. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's not shrimp. Mm -mm. <laughs> There's no way. Mm -hmm. Well, this one has too much flavor. It could maybe you could try with the beef one. Maybe. Yeah. Actually, it's probably a good point. Let's see if that tastes better. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's actually a really good point. Mm. Cool. You guys, we have not done this um, in. 
I want to say like a whole year almost. Right? As far as the food goes. I think you're right. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, no worries. <laughs> yeah, it's been so long. It's been about a year. Mm. We did, we used to do rice eggs and sausage. Mm -hmm. At least that base. Oh, and cucumbers. We did it at least like in the times. beginning of quite a few times. Mm -hmm. And then we, we started doing, of course, other things. It's nice to come back to this. Mm. For sure. It is. Oh. And when, we had to get, when uh, I went to Lucille's, you had to get two sides. So they gave us fried okra right there, which I'm going to try in a second. And... I wasn't going to get it, but I was like, you know, why not? Try it out. I got some mac and cheese also. Yeah, baby. So, you know, why not? We are stacked in today's meal. <laughs> I know. Stacked. We, we literally got everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I dropped the egg. Oh, on the ground? Mm-mm. Oh. In my <laughs> mm. So, speaking of eggs, you might sound crazy, guys, but we learned... The way to make the perfect egg today. <laughs> or hard boiled egg. I thought you knew it already. No, I came across it before, but I didn't try it. Okay. But trying it this way. It's kind of like making the corn, isn't it? Wait, how do you make the corn again? Oh, no, that's different. Okay. It was different. It's yeah, a little different. Okay. We also learned how to make corn the right way, too. <laughs> <laughs> Recently. We used to boil our corn for like 45 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we learned that that's not how you do it. That's not how, exactly. If you do want to know, which I'm sure most of you know, we're pretty much rookies at cooking. Mm. But you um, boil the water for the corn. You boil the water. Mm -hmm. You put the corn in mm -hmm. five minutes, and then you take it off of the heat, right? Wasn't that's that right. what it was? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know what I'm thinking, too? Uh -huh. It's not even like being a rookie. I mean, maybe a little bit. But I think partially is... If you just didn't grow up doing it like that. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, that's how my mom used to do it. My mom cooks really well all the time. Mm -hmm. And I think she did it like that, too, where she cooked it for... A long time? Yeah, a long time when she was doing corn. I don't think she eats corn anymore, but mm -hmm. when she did, I think she did it for a while. Because that's, you know, that was the recipe. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I think, like, now that... Um you just can get information so much easier when it comes to like recipes and how to cook things now. I know. Because of the internet. You guys check this out. Mm. Listen to this. The hard boiled egg. We used to put a, get a pot, pour the water in there, fill it up all the way. The best. Yeah. 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 And boil it. And by the way, what are the chances that both of us learned that? Well, up. I don't think it's, like, wrong. Okay. Yes, it so is. So you're basically it's, saying we used to boil the water first and pour it in. You boil we'll it first. It yeah. Exactly. Wait till the water boils. Yeah. And then you put the eggs in. Yeah. And then you boil the egg for about 10 to 12 minutes. Yeah. Depending on how soft you want it. Yeah. And then after it boils, you let it calm down, of course. Mm -hmm. And then you put the cold water in, let it cool off. Take, oh, no. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Take the shell off, and then it's easier to eat. Mm -hmm. Not easier to eat. You eat it without the shell. You know, you guys know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. So, anyways, my point though is that was the incorrect way. <laughs> the way that you're supposed to do it. We're dropping knowledge. Today. Yeah, at least to do it the right, the perfect egg, I should say, mm -hmm. is you boil, you put the eggs in the pot first, then you run water over it, fill the water up, and then boil it. Did you know that's what I did? No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then you boil it. You wait till it just gets to boiling, and then immediately after it boils, you put the top on it and turn it down uh, right there to, to off, essentially. And then you let it sit for 12 minutes, 10 to 12 minutes, however long you want, you know? And it comes out, wait, the shell falls off easier. Yeah. It's like, it's way better. Okay, I have to say oh, something. Oh, way better. I have to oh, good. Yeah. Did I miss something? Knock on your situation. It's, it's, I, wouldn't, I, said it perfectly. I wouldn't say mm -hmm. this is the perfect egg. Oh, come on. You know, I'm cereal. Come on. No, no, no. It's not the perfect egg because, like, the yolk is, like, pretty hard. Mm -hmm. Like, sometimes I feel like the perfect egg, you have, like, a good balance in the yolk between, like, semi-soft in the middle, but, like, still hard. Okay. Anyways, point is, okay. but the shell came off the easiest. The shell came off the easiest. So that's what I think is, like, the winner of that whole situation. That's my two cents. Okay. What do you think? I have a confession to make. I did not follow the directions correctly. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Which is why I think the yolk is harder. Mm, okay. 
Not. When I put the eggs in the in the pot, mm -hmm. let it boil, I started to do something else. <laughs> Oh. And I let it, and then I let it boil for like five minutes. No, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because are definitely hard. And then I let it sit for like, I think I let it sit for like 15 minutes. Okay. No, yeah. you know what happened? It, sit, yeah. it was supposed I mean, to sit good. for 15 and been fine. Mm -hmm. I put cold water in, but the burner was still on. So when I put it back on the <laughs> the, uh, the stove after I put the cold water in, mm -hmm. I think it started to boil again. Uh -huh. <laughs> So, mm -hmm. I'm sure somewhere in that no, process it, it hardened the eggs. Mmm. The yolk a little bit. Oh. I'm not rushed on my shirt. Uh oh. Mm. Here it is, right? Let me get it. Oh. I got you. I'm sure you do. No problem. Sorry. My pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> I got you taken care of. <laughs> it's a dirty job. He's got to do it. Exactly. I'm going to have some of this mac and cheese. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. I'm taking my tip, please. Mm. Mm. I'm so full already. I know. It's like first meal of the day for us guys. Super filling. Mm -hmm. It is. And what time is it? It's uh. 8 p.m. Mm -mm. I think it's nine. We're eating late today. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Is that technically dinner? Actually, I want to ask you guys. Do you guys eat dinner this late, or is that just us? We don't always eat this late. Mm. Okay, that's true. <laughs> but you know what? I want to. Oh, what did you think by the way? It was really good. Uh, okay, I'm going to ask you a question, and you don't have to answer this if you don't want to. I will so answer it. But when... <laughs> I'm ready. When you were a kid, too, um, mm -hmm. didn't you tell me you ate dinner late also? No. Sometimes? Uh, oh, you didn't eat dinner late. No, you're the one who ate it. Like a well, yeah. Definitely, <laughs> I, did, I definitely ate it late. But uh, 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 no. Not all the time, but sometimes. No, no, no. Yeah, because my you didn't eat it late? dad was usually the cook. Mm. And he always got home at like 4 p.m. Mm. He'd like pick me up at 4 from school and then we'd go home and then he'd start. Mm -hmm. So we usually eat at like 5.30 or 6. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well then, um, yeah. never mind that, that second half <laughs> of the conversation I was going to have. <laughs> what were you going to say? Well, I was going to say, what are the chances, you know, we have a lot of similarities from growing up. I was going to say, yeah. you not know, that. like the hard boiled eggs. Mm hmm. But you know, I guess we're, I guess we're not that similar. Not old eggs. That's about it. No, no we do though. Yeah. We do have a lot of similarities. Uh, yeah. For sure. But um, I thought I was on a roll. Uh, Apparently, I wasn't. Well, the meal you see dinner at like eleven p.m. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes I did that. My mom, um, my mom hooked food up. Mhm. Mm so and she loved, she loved cooking and putting every little thing in there. I swear she's like making up her recipes while I'm cooking, making like recipes in her mind, whatever. Mm -hmm. But sometimes it equated to eating dinner. Sometimes, like late night, like I remember one time, I think it was like 10 or like 10 30 or something. Did you say you got woken up for it once? Well, yeah. I mean, that was like a pretty good Because I took naps. Uh <laughs> I got home, weighed up a little bit, got tired, took a nap, woke up. And she had made like these really good, like, um, these shell pastas, oh, they're so good. Oh, yeah. She stuffed them and like, oh, they're incredible. Jamil's talked about that shell pasta for 20 years. I know. <laughs> 20 years. You love that shell pasta. She didn't make it much. Mm -hmm. I remember mm -hmm. when she made it, I was like. It was like a treat. Please let this be the norm. <laughs> let this be the norm, but it wasn't. You know? <laughs> but it was okay. She mm -hmm. made a lot of other healthy stuff. Mm -hmm. But one thing, I think I mentioned that she used to make. Like she just made it all the time, and I think it was because it was kind of, you know, it was faster. Were the salmon croquettes? Oh yeah. Ah, oh, you guys. My mom used to make these, and um, I'm sure most people, if you did like salmon, I didn't like it at that time when I was younger. You'd probably enjoy them because they were good. She hooked them up, but I hated salmon and those croquettes. Ah. Oh. To this day, he won't eat it. I won't. I will not eat salmon croquettes <laughs> ever. Ah, oh. it's like fried salmon, pretty much deep fried. Oh, so it's a kind of like a crab cake, but mm -hmm. a mm -hmm. salmon cake kind of. Exactly. And you can't do it anymore. Can't do it. <laughs> Couldn't do it. Yeah. Uh, that's funny. Yeah, we had things. Uh, yeah, a lot of stuff like you have memories like growing up of like your you know whoever made you dinner mm -hmm. like of things that like they made all the time and then eventually you got sick of like you just yeah, can't you just eat can't it. eat it anymore you just can't eat it anymore mm -hmm. let me know what it is <laughs> I was telling Jamil that um my mom didn't yeah she didn't cook a lot sorry mom but I love you <laughs> you're very talented in many other ways <laughs> but when she did cook um, sometimes she brought 
you know, back in the day, like frozen foods. I mean, they're still popular, right? Mm -hmm. Back in the day, frozen foods were like really popular. Anyway, mm -hmm. she got these like fish fillets. They were grilled fish. Mm -hmm. I forget the brand, and it had like a lemon uh, flavoring. Oh, oh shoot! All right. I think this. they put like lemon pepper on it. Oh, uh, okay, okay. So it's like lemon white fish fillets, and they're frozen. You would just like bake it in the oven. Mm-hmm. And we ate it at first, and we we're like, "Oh, this is really good! Yum! Woohoo!" You know. Mm -hmm. And my mom's probably like, "Yeah, like my family likes something like." Get come with the yellow box. Yes, it came with the yellow box. Mm -hmm. Comment down below good. if you know about the fish fillets <laughs> that had the lemon on it. Yes, give it the yellow mm -hmm. box. Mm -hmm. You ate that also. Oh yeah. <laughs> From time to time, not all the time. These are like really popular. I forget. Yes, if you guys yeah. know the brand, <laughs> comment down below. Anyways, mm -hmm. um, anyways, we're like, oh, so good. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. I would say, <laughs> I don't know, the tenth time, <laughs> which probably was in like three months, a three yeah. month span. My, I remember my dad being like, <laughs> I remember my dad saying, I can't do it anymore. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he was like, I can't do it. <laughs> he's like, funny. he's like, he's like, I'm burnt out. My dad says it. He goes, he's like, I'm burnt out. That's yeah. What he says. He, he's like, I'm burnt out. And, and you know, we never had it again. Yeah. Never mm -hmm. had it again. No, it's like that. <laughs> I wonder it's, if I gave it to him now if he'd feel the same way. Oh, I know, right? It's been like 20 he, years. He might taste years. it and then just be like, nah, I don't want it. <laughs> I swear, some things don't leave your mind. Some foods... When you've had them too much, they won't leave your mind. Uh huh. <laughs> but it's weird that that's the case, right? Mm -hmm. Where you'll eat something so much yeah. where you just you just cannot do it anymore, and it can be something that you love. Yeah, right. Something you love. That's what I want to know for you guys, because it's probably something like I'm curious if it's something good that you just can't eat anymore because you had so much of it. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm trying to think of other foods that we overdid it on. Well, actually, I have a question for you yeah. about that. Uh, in doing these mukbangs, yeah, and doing these videos, yeah. these food reviews and stuff, yeah. is there something or multiple things where you're just like, I just don't want to eat that anymore? Okay, I had it. Yes, I had it for a minute. Oh, you did? Yes. Do I know about this? Yeah, I kind of said it. Oh, okay. Okay, well, okay. Yeah. Fast food. Oh yeah. Um, minus Taco Bell. <laughs> I feel like I can always do Taco Bell, but. We just got to this point where we're doing all these food reviews, which, by the yes. way, I don't know if we had a recent food review of <laughs> something, which I'm not going to say because I don't know if it comes up before or after this. But it is fast food. But it is fast food. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. And I wasn't like, oh, I can't do it because we had taken a break. Mm -hmm. you know? But remember, we were just doing like every at new. At one point. Yeah. Yeah. At one point, just like every new food review. And I remember at the end, I was like, I just can't do it anymore. So that's just... One example, I was yeah. just like so over fast food. For sure. Um, except for Taco Bell. Mm -hmm. I know, I know. <laughs> Is that right? weird that I love Taco Bell? No, <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah, sometimes um, it's like that. So, know? okay, yeah. But if you're talking like mukbang, like food, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, No, I don't think so. Because I feel like we always, ver ver you know, vary it up. We did do a don't little you think so? variety of stuff. Yeah, yeah, so that's how I feel. But how about you? Um, Anything that you just can't do anymore? Sausage. Rice, egg, cucumber. Oh, you were over it. Oh, I was over. That's why we didn't have it for a year. I couldn't do I it. Forgot. Oh, I couldn't do any more king like crab. I don't don't even get me started on the crab. <laughs> I can eat it now. I actually I'm kind of craving it. But yeah. you guys, I could not see it. Yeah. I I was so done with it. Yeah. I was so done. Yeah. Man, you know what's funny is you know I I until we did our mukbangs and mm -hmm. stuff I never really ate uh, crab. Yeah. I never really ate it in anything. You know yeah. crab or I I don't think I even I rarely even had lobster. Yeah. I only had lobster only a few times or so. Yeah. But we ate so much we of it. Ate and so we much of it. Yeah. And we didn't go crazy with it. But, but more than a, what we normally ever ate in our relationship. Yeah. And then yeah I feel the same way. Yeah. And actually I'm gonna add to this. So oh, yeah. delicious sauce. Yeah. Love it. Delicious. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. But it has such a distinct flavor mm -hmm. that I personally, and I think you feel the same, mm -hmm. we can't have it every day because mm -hmm. I feel the same way. You kind of need to take breaks with this. But some people can probably eat it every day. For sure. But oh, for yeah. us, I just feel like you need a little break from it and then you can do it again. Mm -hmm. So same with that too. Absolutely, That's yeah. really funny. But, but I just yeah. I just remember like... Certain flavors, yeah. Yeah, I just remember though the, the crab and having to break it and get it all out, cut it and all that. I was just tired of it. I was like, I just want to eat. I don't want to have to get through a shell <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> to eat something. And then the taste just, 
it just I wouldn't go away. I, I just couldn't. I, I kept thinking about it. Uh -huh, you know? uh -huh. So. Oh, I have an, I have one. I'm oh gonna, yeah. I'm gonna call my mom out. She, my mom is gonna hate me. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Mom. She's gonna call you for sure. Yeah, I know. Okay, I got burnt out on her lunches that she used to give me. Yes, and uh, so because she always made two, it was two pieces of bread, a little bit of mayo, and like one slice of like turkey. <laughs> maybe, or maybe, maybe once in a while she switched it up to ham, mm -hmm. but it was usually turkey. Mm -hmm. Probably, you know, all the way from like kindergarten to like fifth grade. Yeah. Um, anyways, yeah, I want to say around like third, fourth grade, I was over it. Yeah. <laughs> I was over it, you know, and like, I'd be like, hey, like, can you add you yeah. know, lettuce, tomato, you know, so, so sometimes she'd add that. Yep. That was really good. Or sometimes she just did on her own. Um, mm -hmm. add a little something extra and I'd be like, oh my God, this is so good. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. like, it was like a variety. But yeah. Mm -hmm. That happens a lot to a lot of kids. Yeah. They get burned out because for a lot of parents, right? Mm -hmm. It's hard to, they got to go to work. So it's hard to always make something new and fresh totally. and stuff. So that's naturally going to happen. It is. But I know what you mean, how, how it could be. Yeah, you're just like, like that. yeah, and then always gave me like a red apple that I never ate. Oh, is that? <laughs> like not cut up, not sliced, yeah. it was just like whole. That's hilarious. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I ate it sometimes when I was like really hungry. Mm -hmm. But so, yeah, anyways, it was just, yeah, you get burnt out on that. That's hilarious. It is hilarious. You know. Meanwhile, my friends have like. Like mm -hmm. fruit roll ups and oh, then did they? oh yeah, they had like the fruit roll ups and they had the Oh they had the unhealthy the, the gold yeah, they had the gold um what do you call it? The goldfish oh, crackers. The goldfish. And they'd have, you know, I don't even know what their like main thing was. I feel like yeah. everybody just snacked mostly. There was I'm one thing a sandwich. Yeah. There was one thing I was highly jealous of when my friends would have lunch and I didn't have it. Uh -huh. And I don't even know if I asked my mom to do it to get it, but even if I did, she would not have gotten it. Why well, was they had gushers? Oh, Remember really? gushers? Oh yeah, I would have a jelly belly. Really? And you know, kids don't share. Yeah, <laughs> not the gushers. <laughs> not the then gushers. maybe break off a piece of a fruit roll up. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Small piece and got dirty hands. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> no. Just it's not good. I know. Think of all the germs we ate back in the day. But anyway. Yeah, but um, know, nobody washed their hands after the bathroom. No. Not I think I people. did. I think I did. Did. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I did. But For sure. I a lot know, of people. I did. Huh? You did? I always did. Yeah. Always. I think a lot of people did. That, but anyways. But I just remember like uh, friends coming. Like I, I, I didn't have many friends doing it, but there was maybe like one or two mm -hmm. that had the gushers. Mm -hmm. And by the way, the packs were like, there'd be like six of them. There's packs. like six gushers. <laughs> you were, no, your best friend. If you were lucky, your best friend would give you give one. Give you one. <laughs> I know, exactly. And that's it. You're not getting it from a random like, no. acquaintance at school. No. <laughs> you got to know the person well. Gotta, you know what I mean? No, and I you, and you better have shared with some, something with them first, <laughs> by the way. I think some of my friends had the Gushers, too, because that yeah, was like really popular for a while. Oh, they were so good. I never got Gushers. Man. Never. I never got fruit roll-ups. Oh, you didn't, huh? I didn't get anything. Yeah, well, I, didn't, I didn't get fruit roll-ups. I didn't get it either. I didn't uh -huh. get any of it either. I would get, and I, I didn't you get Nutri-Grain bars? Nutri-Grain? You didn't get Nutri-Grain mm -hmm. bars, huh? Mm -hmm. I did. I got Nutri-Grain uh -huh. bars. Uh, was it Nature's? Just, you know, Nature's Made. Nature Made. Nature's Made granola bars. Yeah, we got that when I was in high school for like snacks eventually. But I never like, it was, I wasn't young and put it in a lunchbox. But yeah. I would talk about the hard cracker yeah, ones. The hard ones. Those are good though. With the honey. They were pretty good. You know, it has like the sweet flavor, which I don't even like honey, but I feel like the honey one has like a sweet oat to it. Yes, yes. But, but still, it's like, no. Not yeah. compared to a gusher, you probably didn't want it, right? So don't, in comparison, you can't even compare. I don't even think he likes them now. I bought them before right? and you're not fans of them. I, for one, they're hard on your teeth. Let's start there. <laughs> Why? Why are they so hard? <laughs> That's a start. I know. Two, um... You know, is this is it is it like a a, a ploy from the do dentist? Did the dentist do this? They <laughs> <laughs> make this friends so they chip your teeth, so they gotta go. So you gotta go into the dentist. No, I'm just teasing. Um, yeah. But I remember, yeah. But I remember having a lot of Nutrigrain bars, mm -hmm. which at the time we thought those were healthy. Yeah. <laughs> Nutrigrain, uh, the other, yeah. and, and you know, Nature oh. Made, which are full of sugar. You know. Speaking of that, okay. Yeah. Thank you for my, okay. Yeah. Do yeah. you guys remember Snackwells? Uh. It was the brand Snackwell. Do they still have them? 
Um, they still, oh, I don't let know. Let us know. Comment down below if they still have snack walls. But those are huge in the 90s. Yeah. They're supposed to be a healthier yeah. version of a snack. So they had those, like, remember the chocolate ones? It had a hard chocolate on around it. Yes. And some cake thing in the Inside, middle. Yes. <sighs> oh, my God. Those were the most nasty things ever. <laughs> And obviously super unhealthy. Once in a while, my mom would put two in my lunchbox. <laughs> yeah. I just remember that. Which I didn't even want them. Yeah. They were dry AF. Yeah. They tasted awful. <laughs> and then we finally found the snack walls, those vanilla cream cracker mm. things. Yes, that's right. Vanilla cream cracker, like sandwich cookie things. Yeah, they were like them. long and like the yeah. sides, of course. They were almost rectangular, yeah, but like the that. edges curved a little bit. Yeah. And they have the vanilla cream in the middle and they were yeah. like a white cookie. Anyways, those were better. Yeah. Um, so I found that. But anyways, I just remember like all the advertisements were like, um, snack wells, you know, the healthier, like da da da. Yeah. It's, it's sugar. <laughs> it's, it's a cookie. <laughs> it's a straight up cookie. Yeah. But back in the 90s, low fat was the thing, right? Yeah. Everybody's like, low fat, low fat. That's how you're going to lose weight, low yeah. fat. Yeah. And so snack wells had the low fat going that, on. That's right. That's right. And you can taste every <laughs> second of that. <laughs> well, that's the tough part because... You don't want a low-fat cookie. Let me just no, the out. fat is where the flavor is. You take the fat out and then now you got to throw in all this extra sugar and all this uh -huh. other stuff in it, you know? But you want the fat. You do. You want, at least, you know. That's but did you have the snack wells? Um, I... Oh, I think we had them. I don't know if my mom bought them or my dad did, uh, but I think we had them from time to time. And they made, but. I think they made fudge bars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nasty. Yeah, I'm pretty sure That's they right. did. It was fudge just like bars. all bad. Yeah. Uh, they had a variety of them too. They had a good amount, like different varieties. Yeah, of for sure. Yeah, they definitely did. I forgot, I forgot about those snack wells. Yeah, we should do a video on 90s snacks. We should. We really should. Do you think we could get them? Yeah, you can get anything on Amazon. Sometimes. That would be Sometimes. fun. When you guys want to like do a throwback to the 90s, we can see what yeah. we can find. That'd be cool to watch. To Ooh, do, actually. that'd be fun. I have really good ideas. Yeah, already. some good ideas. Yeah, we should do that. Yeah. Ones that like, you know, are hard to find now, right? Obviously, not ones that are in the store, because there's some from the 90s that still, you know, they still make oh. all the time. But yeah, no, the lunches... I remember, I kind of, I partially remember lunches. Oh, I remember this one time, uh, speaking of getting sick of something, uh -huh. um, I was at the house one day, mm -hmm. and I, th I, th I think I told this story before. Uh -huh. I definitely did. My dad made um, an egg sandwich, just at the house randomly. Okay. And I was like, oh, I'll take one. And he was like, oh, yeah, I'll make you one. He made it for me, and I ate it. I was like, it was the best thing ever in my mind. Egg salad? An egg, no, just a fried egg. Oh, okay. Um, uh -huh. Mayo, mustard, not mustard, sorry, sorry, just mayo on it, uh -huh. and... I think that was it. Yeah, that okay. was it. Okay. And I remember being like, this is amazing. I want this all the time. And I did it for lunch for a week. Uh -huh. And after that, he was going to make me another one. I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I was like, no more egg sandwiches. I, I, can't do it. I was like, that's it. <laughs> I've had my limit, That's you know. That's so funny. Yeah. Like, Actually, I've had my limit, okay, you know? funny you say that because yeah. I feel like when I make fried egg sandwiches, yes, you, I feel like you don't like them. Now, granted, I make them plain. I like a, I like some toast. I like to put some cream cheese on it, and then yeah. I put an egg once in a while, bacon. Huh. But I feel like you just can't do it. Well, that's weird because I like eating eggs. I love eggs, and I love fried eggs on top of on a sandwich. You know what I mean, or a burger sometimes. I know. But having it by itself, yeah, I'm not a big fan of it. I yeah. wonder if maybe that's that's why. I think it is. I got. I just because I'm like, what's not to like? Friday sandwiches are so good. No, I'm serious. I'm like, it's good. They are good. But you don't do it. And I'm like, maybe it's the cream cheese you don't like because I like to put cream cheese on it. Well, cream cheese is weird. Um, Why no, would you put that on it? Babe, <laughs> we go to Seagull's Bagel Mania. They put cream oh. cheese on with the eggs. On well, the, put on it the, that way. On the bagels. But it's a bagel. Okay. <laughs> it's, not a, it's not a piece of wheat bread. <laughs> wheat toast. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I know. But actually, that's actually a good point. But I do wonder if you have like Maybe memories. I've, I've of, like, burnt out on it. <laughs> I feel like you are. It's ingrained in my brain. I feel like you are. It, oh my gosh, it's so funny. Yeah. What else did we have? Yeah. Have I'm full, but oh. yeah, I I can't eat anymore. Are you done? I am. You guys, I am done. Mm, this was good though. I I we did good though. This was full. We this have a lot of food. Yeah. Um. Yeah, were there any things like that are maybe 
you know, things that we call healthy today that you do oh. not. Or yeah, go ahead. Tell, oh, tell, tell sorry. Me. No, no, no. Go ahead. All my friends had Lunchables. I never got a Lunchable. <laughs> I was very upset about it. I would say you were missing out, but I hated Lunchables. <laughs> hated. Why? I don't like... I don't like the whole idea of crackers and cheese and meat and no condiment. Where's the condiment? <laughs> like, wh- why? Why not have you a don't condiment, need a condiment in there? on a cracker. Put a dip in there. You just have something. <laughs> A cheese dip, a, a, some ranch. Just put mayo in there. Some cheese whiz. Something, some cheese whiz. I mean, come on. Uh, I'm sorry. So you felt they were too dry. That's what I'm here. To, I'm going to be honest. In my whole lifetime, I've had like one Lunchable. Maybe, may, maybe two. Really? And, and they, to be honest, I didn't eat the whole thing. I probably had a couple <laughs> bites and was done. So you're just never. Since you've known me, have you ever seen me get a Lunchable? Never. Never. And I'll get them once in a while because I've never had it. And I won't touch it. I know you don't. I'm like, you literally don't touch anything. Else. I had one in the fridge for hella long because I just didn't need it. And it might be in the trash. It stayed there. No, yeah, I think it expired. <laughs> Did it? Uh huh. There is no tempting me on that. No, I'm there fair. isn't. Certain you things. Will, you'll drink all my drinks that I get. <laughs> But you will not touch a Lunchable. That's what you got to do you gotta hide the in drink. a marriage. You have to get things that your spouse hates. <laughs> and then you're good to go. You got to hide your drink in the Lunchable. <laughs> <laughs> and I won't touch it. <laughs> Only problem is it might end up in the trash. <laughs> yeah, you won't touch a Lunchable. You hate it. Oh. Or like on a car ride sometimes if I want a snack, I'll grab a Lunchable. Yeah, he can't I'm do. like, you can keep that Lunchable. <laughs> right? yeah. I think that the, the last trip we did, right? Or yeah, you were just like, yeah, do you want a Lunchable? I was like, I know, do you did. not. I was like, I got you a Lunchable. Oh, that? you did, right? Did you say that? That's it's why like, we had the extra no. one. <laughs> no. I, and I used, to, I used to go with the... Uh, that was funny. Uh, one of my friends, we used to go out years ago. Mm-hmm. And uh, he would get like cravings for Lunchable. I felt like it was like cravings because uh, we'd go out, he you know, he'd, you know, get some drinks and stuff, mm-hmm. uh, and then like, like we would go to, like Seven Eleven late at night. He's like, I gotta get a Lunchable. I gotta get one. And I, my mind was blown. I'm like, why? <laughs> I'm like, why Lunchable? <laughs> I don't think I ever mentioned it to him, but I should. I should actually. He one hundred percent crave. Do I know who it is? Oh yeah, you know. Okay, you know just, okay. yeah. I gotta talk to him about that. <laughs> I'm going to be like, why Lunchable? He 100% you know, was craving a Lunchable. Loved it. 100%. Yeah. So, but I, I, I can't do it. I can't do Lunchables. I like it. Comment down below if you like Lunchables or not. Comment down below and then unsubscribe. I'll tell you what. Go ahead and leave now. Just jump. I'll tell you what I don't like. <laughs> what was that? The pepperoni Lunchables. Those are probably the best ones. Because <laughs> I remember, oh, I have had Lunchables. The ones that you make pizzas out of. Uh, that oh I think that's what I was talking about. Oh, those are disgusting. I realized Did you like I those? no. Okay, yeah, those I are hated those. No, but I, I think that's forced. what I was talking about. I was forced as a child to have them. Okay. Mom, if you're watching, you forced me. To. Okay, can I say something? <laughs> no, I'm just teasing. <laughs> that has sauce. <laughs> it's true. I need sauce. Well, that, <laughs> and that's actually probably why I ate it. Man, I had a, I, yes, I did. I remember him. I think my friends used to bring him. I had a bite once. I was like, what is this nasty, non-cooked, non-melted, cold, wannabe pe- I was like this, get oh, this out of here. It was bad. Get this out. I'm sorry, guys, if you like that. Yeah. I was like, what is this? Why that like kids will eat anything? Well, kids are kind of forced to eat anything, which I think that's why they they sell it to parents because they know kids will have to eat it, you know. Um, yeah. So if you guys don't that's remember, it came. It was a, I think it was a cracker. Oh, they still have it. They have it still. Oh yeah, they have the pizza lunchables. Oh, oh yeah. Get rid of it, lunchables. Get rid of it. <laughs> They're Whoever probably knows. popular. They might be. Sorry guys. <laughs> I know somebody's watching this being like, what's wrong with the pizza ones? <laughs> Everything. I, okay? <laughs> no. I'm no, surprised you didn't like it because you like pepperoni. That, I, okay, so the pepperoni <laughs> first off was fake pepperoni. And it wasn't even, like if you had that pepperoni and like some real pepperoni, come on. There's no comparison. Uh, but yeah. I ate it because it was pizza, right? So I yeah. think it was, I was, maybe, yeah. maybe I was brainwashed because yeah. pizza's my favorite food. I love pizza. <laughs> yeah. So if someone says, this is pizza, uh, my mind goes to, ooh, you know, the stuff mm-hmm. I love. Mm-hmm. So maybe that's why I ate it, I guess. Oh, so but I didn't really like it. 
I didn't like it at all. And didn't they only have like a little bit of cheese? Like, it was wasn't a tad. it only like literally like a little bit? You could only like Slip. sprinkle like just a few. <laughs> yeah. God. But I just remember yeah. the bread. Like I'm into the breading parts of yeah. things, and yeah, it was just like it was. Wasn't it like a weird like? It's like a dough. It was a wannabe dough. But it wasn't. It was almost right. like a cracker dough. Yeah, it was right? soft. It was soft, but but it held together like a cracker. And it had light cheese. You put the sauce over it, and the sauce came in a packet, right? Didn't it come in a yeah, packet? Yeah, it came in a packet, sh- yeah. Sh- over it. <clears throat> Anyways, yeah, my friends used to have that all the time. We didn't get that. But I remember eating it. I was yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is whack. <laughs> oh I'm sorry God. if you guys... If you guys like any of these things we're not dissing, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> we don't mean you. We and, don't mean your food. That you and then they invented the Lunchables eventually with the one, sometimes they have the snack in it, the, the chocolate. Yes. Right? Like, didn't they have like a crunch bar in there or something like that? Oh. Like a mini crunch bar? Oh, I don't even remember. I, I want to say they did because I want to say one of my friends yeah. didn't like the crunch bar and gave it to me. <laughs> Winning. <laughs> didn't like the crunch bar? Yeah. A lot of my friends didn't like the crunch bar. <clears throat> That's weird. I know. <laughs> Crunch bars are good. I know. Um, didn't one come with like a chocolate chip cookie? Um, I don't know. I, I, did feel I? Like, I feel like I think, it, I feel like I heard it. I feel like someone bought them and they had chocolate chip cookies in them. Oh, okay. French or something. I don't know. But they made oh. varieties of them, you know? Oh, comment down below if it came with a cookie. Okay. I was yeah. talking to you a little while ago about okay. um, the Halloween candies. Yes. And you know how they always have the variety packs, right? Yeah. Okay. So there's a Halloween candy, Crunch Bars it came with, Okay. Mr. Good Bar, yes. and then there was a red one called Crackle. Crackle? Yes, I'm pretty sure. Yes, it, it, uh, it was basically like a Crunch Bar. Uh, Am I right? It had like the rice yes. bites or whatever. You know what I'm talking yes. about? It was chocolate? Uh, yeah. I okay. Exactly chocolate. Nobody liked that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like none of my friends liked that. Yeah. Freaking loved it. I ate, the, I ate them all day. It was yeah. one of my favorites. They were good. They were they Crackle, really good. right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Because I remember the K. I think yeah, the like K, K and it's red. Yeah, yeah. So did you like the Crackle? I liked it, yes. Well, man, I shouldn't ask you. you I know, I like any candy, especially candy. Yeah, I like candy. It's gonna take a lot for me. Like, there's some candies, like I, I candy corn, no tootsie rolls. Toots, I know. I, 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 I eat a lot of tootsie rolls. I like those, but like uh, candy corn, I can't do it. I can't do candy corn. I can't do it. But that's about it. That's another thing. My friends used to bring candy corn, like for Halloween, and like. <laughs> You know, and used to like they uh, they would give that out because they had yeah. hell of candy corn. They'd be like, yeah, you can have some, a couple. Yeah. I remember I was like, ooh, we're getting a candy corn, you know, and I tried it. I was like, what is this? <laughs> Again, it's like it's like saddens you yeah. when like your friends are enjoying something hella good. Yeah. And then you have it, and you're like, this is whack. That's how I felt <laughs> about the honey sticks. They would suck on the honey sticks. Oh, the from honey the farmers sticks. market, like it was nothing. You hate honey. And the different flavors they had of honey sticks. And I was like, I think my friends are tripping. Yeah, With, yeah they had different flavors of honey stuff. Yeah, they had like the strawberry honey and they had oh. like, yeah, they had like weird flavors. That's weird. I know. Yeah. Anyways. Well, I think we should wrap this up. I didn't love Uh-oh. Tootsie Rolls. Those always lasted until the end until I was done with all my other candy. Yeah. yeah. And then I would eat them eventually, but I was not happy about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never yeah. ate the candy corn. Yeah, same here with the Tootsie Rolls. They would always be my last choice. Yeah. But believe they got eaten too. I loved it. <laughs> I used to have Tootsie Rolls. And I ate all of them. The strawberry ones because, you know, they had different flavors. I never got them. Um, I ate them all. And they weren't like anything special. Yeah. And I think, yeah. I, I, I Didn't they try to say they were healthier candies? Tootsie Rolls? Yeah, probably. I swear they probably tried to say they were healthier candies. Probably fat-free. Candies. Man. I'm telling you, the 90s. It was they crazy. They were... Excellent marketers in the 90s. <laughs> <They were. laughs> um, also, my mom's really allergic to peanuts. Yes. And yeah. so uh, every time I got my Halloween yeah. bag and I got the candy, we'd dump it yeah. out. And then my dad, because yeah. my mom didn't want to touch it even though. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but my dad would take away all of the, anything that uh, had the peanuts. Snickers, Mr. Good Bar, I think has yeah. peanuts. Yes, it does. Um, paydays. Mm. Um, Baby Ruth's, right? Oh, Baby Ruth's, yeah. Baby Ruth's, too, yeah. Oh, um, sure. And then some other ones. Just anything with peanuts. She, yeah. Um, he'd take away. Yeah. You know he was eating them in the car. Was sure. he eating them in the oh, car? Oh, yeah. He didn't throw them away. I've asked my dad about that. <laughs> so basically my candy bag would go from like full to like maybe half or like three quarters. <laughs> yeah. And I was thinking about it. I'm like, oh, my dad's just throwing them away. Yeah. Well. <laughs> There's no way. They're, I'm sure he ate them at work. At least as a child, it was best to know that because <laughs> how heartbreaking. 
what I mean. You're like, have my candy. Hey. Stop. <laughs> But it was fine, but I think back at it, I'm like, okay, I'm sure it didn't go to waste. Yeah, no, no, for sure. Or probably, you know, even t- took it to work and gave it to people, you know? He ate it. <laughs> I'm going to ask him about it. We should. There's no way he's throwing that away. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so anyways, but I love yeah. Milky, Milky Ways were my favorite. Oh, no. I know, he really can't do a Milky Way. I'll eat Milky Ways. I'll listen. I'll I eat any of the candies. Milky Ways. But Milky Ways actually one of my, it's pretty low, my choice of candies i know it's pretty low you know it's low on my choice of candies now yeah but back in the day it was like the best thing you know what i know this video is long you guys i'm sorry but i gotta say one more thing too <laughs> i've noticed this i yeah. noticed this you know what they did when things sucked yeah when candies sucked uh-huh. but maybe maybe in the in the 60s and 70s they were top sellers Okay. But then later in like the eighties, nineties, like an almond joy. Okay, sure. Because those Something got like unpopular. That. Although I love an almond joy, but yes. those got unpopular. I feel what like. they did yeah. is marketed as healthy. Or uh, or okay. as or, something else. Or hella market it. Hella market. Remember the three musketeers? I was literally that, that was my point. <laughs> three musketeers is the worst. Candy there is. I like it now. Next to candy corns. <laughs> <laughs> I like them now, but I will, would agree with you. My 10-year-old oh. self hated the Musketeers. Worst candy. Hated. The worst. My dad loved it. He loved it. He loved it. <clears throat> and I, I just couldn't understand it. But I remember when they started to say it was healthy. Uh-huh. And I remember a video. That was low fat. It was light and it was like floating on one of the commercials. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't care how healthy it is. I don't care what y'all do to that. <laughs> and by the way, yeah. the Three Musketeers were always yeah. like one of the last to go. Oh, yeah. It was Three Musketeers and Tootsie Rolls. I swear those were the last ones. Yeah, no, for and sure. And maybe I'll enjoy back in the day because I didn't like that. Oh, yeah, you didn't like Uncle Joy, huh? Uh, I never I liked anything with nuts, really. That's true. That's I wasn't true. even a fan of Snickers until we met. Really? I didn't like Snickers. Did I ever tell you that? No, I might not have told you because I think I wanted to be cool, and I don't think I ever told you. What? I never liked Snickers. But, but I never ate them, right? Because of my mom. Yeah. So, oh, 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 that's right. Yeah, of course, right? Of course, so, of course. But I never liked it because of the nuts. Yeah. I love, right. love it now. But again, yes. um, yeah, so I think everybody's yeah. like, I love Snickers. That's my favorite. And I have to be like, oh, yeah, I love them too. But I like, never liked them. <laughs> you never liked them. But I love them now. But you, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't I don't like the regular Snickers. I like the almond Snickers. Those oh, are the best ones. Those but are the regular right. Snickers, I can pass on that. Yeah. I really I guess, can. I guess you've never really liked it too much. No, it's never been my thing. I know. Oh. I feel like that was like number one candy for people. I'm judging your taste buds now. <laughs> what was your number one? Snickers? Probably Snickers. Yeah. Well, for chocolate is probably Snickers. Mm-hmm. Um, probably. Probably Snickers. Everybody loves Snickers. Yeah, yeah, I think so. But then, of course, you know, I love Starburst. Oh, yeah. Starburst. Oh. Yeah. Well, number one, I used to eat that all the time. How can I forget? <laughs> you guys. I used to buy bags. I used to buy. I remember going to the movie theater one time. Mm-hmm. This was before uh, you and I met. And I had not the not the bag that's like the one, you know, the personal big bag. Uh-huh. I bought the Halloween bag. You know what I mean? The one that comes in the big thing. And I remember eating that whole thing. I ate the whole thing in a sitting during a movie. I believe it. <laughs> I believe it. Uh, Mindlessly eating. I'm trying to think what movie that was. Oh, my God. But it was a long... I can't believe you did that. I can't remember what movie it was, but I had the whole bag. I had the whole bag, you guys. I love Starburst. That's also kind of another yeah. thing. Like, I never really ate candy in the yeah. theater. Uh-huh. Um, we just, my parents were, they, they weren't really popcorn people. Yeah. And once in a while, my mom would get, like, red vines. She liked that. Oh, yeah. So sometimes i get that with her. But other than that, we never ate candy. But get going with you, you can't not do candy. Yeah. Right? Isn't that funny? <laughs> yeah. I can do candy. I can go without candy. You're, it's hard for you. It's just, the they, movie's just not as good. No, a lot of people <laughs> would agree. Like, I know there's people that go to movies that need, like yes. either popcorn, popcorn or candy. Or and like I get it. Yeah. Yeah. I get it. But I think when you don't grow up on it, you're yeah. just like, oh, whatever. I can go without. <sighs> It'd be so nice. <laughs> I grew up eating it all the time. So, I mean, it's not like when I went to the theater with my, well, I went with my brothers and stuff like that. Mm. But then I would get it with them because they were like, yeah, sure. You want candy? No problem. You know uh, what I mean? But I would, I just loved candy. And it's just, oh, it's so good. Yeah. There's Comments nothing. Of- Comment down below if you like candy and popcorn at theaters. You guys, there's nothing better than spending ten dollars on <laughs> <laughs> on some Starburst on some Starburst at a theater when they give you a pack that's like this. 
It's just like that. It's full of air. <laughs> it's like 10 pieces in there. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. Like a big soda. Uh-huh. Some dark colored soda, whether it's a Coke or... Yeah. You know me. I love the Diet Coke or Coke uh-huh. Zero. Yeah. With some big thing of popcorn with butter. <laughs> And some like some type of like chocolate like candy. Watching a movie sounds really fun right now. Exactly. Not gonna lie. Exactly. And I, I mean because I had never had it. <laughs> no, yeah. I had. I, I had it. it. We've had it together, but exactly. it just wasn't my thing. But right now, like it sounds like a good time. Okay. I think we need to go to the movie. We're gonna go to the movies right now. <laughs> Honestly, I think we should. We'll see. Whatever movie it is, could be the worst movie ever. <laughs> As long as you have our candy and our soda, we're good. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, so let us know if you have to get something at the theater or if you are the type of person that can go with that. Yeah. Or do you bring your own? Some people do that too. Oh. Like my friend, my best friend, Yes. she'll uh, make her own popcorn all the time. Really? And bring it in. Do they know that it's an offense? And we can <laughs> okay. call the police on them? We brought in Taco Bell <laughs> hella times. We brought an in and out. We used to we, we brought did. in our, we brought we in did. burritos. Yeah. We brought burritos. in our dinner many times. I, I wanna say I brought in some pizza. No, no, I bought pizza there. That's what it was. Yeah, we have brought, we brought in a lot many of stuff. outside food. Oh, not to mention, by the way, we don't pay ten dollars for the candy, obviously. I mean we will if we don't have time to get it beforehand, but yeah. majority of the time we do. And I mean we load up. We got to sell. Oh, I up. load up. Chris will have just like a little bit of candy. Y'all just like. Get that. <laughs> exactly. And by the way, my candy doesn't make it past the trailers, by the way. Never. <laughs> Never. Unless you trailers. get so much that it does. But you definitely start eating with the trailers. It's just I noticed the that. Trailers. I've noticed that. Yeah. And I don't like that. I like to wait for the movie to start. Yeah. I do. See, I don't see the point of that. <laughs> Trill's done with this candy by the trailer. As soon as I sit down, I'm like, it's, it's all like, you know, the before the even trailer comes on, uh-huh. when there's just like these little clips of stuff, you hear the yeah, and I'm like eating them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only one doing that. I don't know. It's what I do. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right, you guys. Thank this you was for a listening. long one. This was long. It was too long, but it was fun. Yes. I'm tired, though. I know. Yeah. Okay, the food good. was good, though, you guys. Get some rice, get some eggs, get some cucumbers, sausage, uh, be love sauce, get the whole thing and try it out. Yeah. It's yeah. a good time. It's really good. It's very filling. Absolutely. Okay, you guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Share your name is Carrie, let your friends really know what the K and J are doing. And until next time, we hope you have a wonderful day, evening, or night. Whatever time it is out there, we will see you in our next video. Mm-hmm. Peace. Peace.